Good afternoon, viewers. You are welcome to the Voice Factory preview show, and I'm coming to you live from the Voice Factory Lounge. My name is Chris Carter. So today I'm going to be taking you on the mesmerizing journey through the heart and soul of the most talked about music reality show in the country, and that's Voice Factory. Factory and it's actually the fifth season so voice factory season five and like I said we are going to be going on a journey from the beginning everything that happened from the beginning to right now is the eighth week and we are so excited about this but if you're wondering what voice factory is or maybe you just tuned in and you're hearing it for the first time voice factory actually aims in transforming young talented singers into products that could join the music industry i'm not going to be doing this alone i have in the studio with me people who are well versed in the music industry and also people who have given their sweat and their strength to make this show a success but now it's time for me to take a quick break and when we come back i will be introducing these special people in the studio with me we'll be right back and you are welcome back it's still the voice factory preview show and now it's time for me to introduce these special people that have made this show a success and still supporting these contestants to be better and better and better. So I'm going to be starting with the gentleman on my far right, Echo Kumsin. Echo Kumsin is the co-host of 30 Minutes here in City TV and also the team lead of The Voice Factory. Hi, Echo. Hi, <laughs> And our, um, it, between Echo and another gentleman is Edinam Bright Davids, who is a media personality and a judge on this season's Voice Factory. Hi, Edinam. Hey. You look beautiful as always. And yourself, you're looking dashing. And guys, Edinam can sing. When she's singing, all you have to say, sang, girl, sing, <laughs> sing, just sing. <laughs> and obviously, talking about music, talking about singing, beside me, it's this wonderful, calm gentleman. No, all, all, no other person than the voice director and also the voice coach, music director and the voice coach of Voice Factory, and Nikwe. Hi. Hi, Nikwe. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. Nikwe, you're always quiet, you know, but when I see you in action, I'm like, oh, this is the quiet guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, you're well welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And like I said, we're going to be taking the viewers on a journey. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Echo. I'm going to start with you, obviously. I mean, you put in your sweat, your yeah, time, and yeah, putting yeah. this show together. Mm -hmm. How has it been? Uh, for me, I'll say it's been a very wonderful journey. It's been a learning curve for me. Mm -hmm. So I remember very well when my CEO called me to his office. I was like, oh, you know, Voice Factory is coming back, and I want you to be on the project. And mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, my God, like, this is so huge. Right, right. And everything. But I mean, with his guidance and also the team that we put together, everybody has, like, you know, like, putting their sweat to make sure this mm -hmm. happens. So I, most times I don't like when people say like you're a team lead because I've, I've barely done anything. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people at the back have right. put in like a lot of work, like talk of Freema, Magdalene, um, 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 Caleb, um, Apioko, Apioko yeah. um, Angela, even Nikwe and everyone. Yeah. So it's a whole team that has um, made sure this is happening and it's still going on. So. It's been a learning curve for me, and it's also been a very eye-opening experience because mm. I, I also love music. I'm mm -hmm. also into music and everything, but there's so much I didn't know about music, to be right, honest. Right, so this has right. been a learning curve for me. And I'm, you know, as much as I'm sometimes at the back, mm -hmm. I, I enjoy the judges, like their comments and everything, and also the contestants, their performance. So it's been a very, very good experience so far. Okay, so talking about the judges, Edinam, you are a judge, and then you have seen um, these contestants from the beginning of the show, from the audition till now, do you see any changes yet? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's so refreshing to see uh, the amount of work being put in. We actually see Saturday after Saturday, they come in and they've progressively 
uh, grown. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I think uh, maybe uh, Lee Kuei would say something about this, mm -hmm. but I think he, he must put down the comments from the judges or the judges just uh, echo what he's been telling them that they've not been able to uh, understand. Right. And when they've heard the comments from the judges, you see them the following week and you realize, okay, uh, there's something different and it's just been such a, a, a great journey just to see uh, to watch them from first audition mm -hmm. to now right yeah. and Nico you have been working with them on your voices do you see any improvement with your voices do you find it difficult sometimes trying to tell a contestant oh no you have to sing this key and not that key <laughs> um, it's it's been it's been a really interesting journey uh, and one thing is the unlearning bit of it it's very difficult to unlearn so many things that you've actually been used to or you actually do every single time when you sing right. you know, or perform. And that's one thing that we've been challenging you know, with uh, when it comes to rehearsals and all that. Uh, selection of songs to right. the kind of voice you have, your range, you know, all these things have been very difficult for them. Uh, but they've really pulled through, right. you know, they've been listening. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I'm happy about. You right. know, it's been stressful, it's been challenging for them. It's been a learn, big learning curve for them, even myself, you know. So, yes, for, for them, I think they are good. They, they just need to put in more work. Right. Uh, they are listening, as Edinam said, mm -hmm. you know, they listen to the judges' mm -hmm. comments. And it's surprising that anything I tell them, the judges actually say the same thing. Wow. So they realize that, yo, we have a lot of work to do. So, yes. Right. Definitely. So 11 contestants right now. But how was it choosing this 11 contestants? Hmm. Was it difficult? Was it easy? <laughs> did, did they just come and someone just sing and you're like, okay, you are the one. So how was it? It was difficult. I mean, it was difficult. I mean, because Nikwe was in that uh, selection process as well. So we listened to all these people and we had to drop several, about three yeah. or four people. Mm -hmm. um, just dis And then we were not supposed to have 11. Mm -hmm. yes. We were just supposed to have 10. So we took the 10 and then we thought the 11th person had to be on the team. Right. And even the, uh, I mean, the other two or three we dropped. Yeah, we wanted to have even three people. We wanted to have three people. So it was that competitive? It was that competitive. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this season brought in some amazing singers. I mean, as raw as they were, uh, we could see the potential. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, selecting the, the final 10 was difficult. Mm -hmm. And we had to push in you just, had to, you just had to put that We one. just had yeah. to push in that 11. And here's the wild card. Yes. So how important is the wild card to this competition? I mean, this competition is, it's, I mean, Nikwe, it's, it's so open. It's any, anyone's yeah, to win. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The wild card we actually added to the 10 has totally flipped everything yes. and is doing so well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's anybody's to win. I, I think this competition is as open as it gets. Right. Echo, you were, si since you've been, I mean, since you've been here, you've obviously witnessed um, other seasons of mm -hmm. Voice Factory mm -hmm. and other seasons compared to this season. Do you see any, any, any difference, especially for the fact that she mentioned that this season had a lot of singers, mm -hmm. good singers. So what are some of the differences that you saw? Um, so first off is the number of entries that we received uh, as compared to like the previous seasons, because this year we received over 150 like people who were interested who followed the procedure and submitted their entries and then we actually had two days of auditions and mm. it was very very competitive because then you realize that the even the judges that we put on the auditions were like very like they were industry players we had like people like dr Dakwe on we had Nikwe himself, we have Beat Kofi Bitmenes, mm -hmm. we had Edinam on, we had Fredima who is yeah. like also a jazz yeah. on, King yeah. we had a King of Accra, yeah. we had a Biana. Yeah. So it was like a list of judges and all of these people like sitting for two days, you know, go through all of them. And this time around to what we added to it or the bit that we added to it is after you've sang like a cappella, you go and then you come and sing with a keyboard like mm -hmm. on rhythm mm -hmm. or music mm -hmm. and everything. So, it made them know that no, it's not just about having like a very good voice, but then being able to sing on key. I think Edna was telling me about a lady who, like a cappella, she was so she good. Just, yeah. But once you strike the key, she's lost. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So that's how it's been. And then like even now, like the performances that we are seeing, like how they put everything together, the band, like everyone. So you realize that it's it's really 
it's really it has really come together and it's really looking like yo this is in five because yeah. then if you see something like four year, like four seasons you're expecting the fifth season to be way mm -hmm, better mm -hmm. and of course this is manifesting that the fifth season is going well so yeah those have been the differences for me and talking about going well like what i really love about the show mm -hmm. is the whole you know the lights camera action you know <laughs> watching it on tv it already feels like these people are stars yeah yeah, you know, yeah. so many lights around you, yeah. a real stage, and all of that. And also, I've, I, I, let's not forget that the judges, the judges are like mm -hmm. industry players. Mm -hmm. Yes, people yeah. that actually know what you're discussing yeah. or mm -hmm. what to look out for yeah. when it yeah. comes to competition like this. But right now, it's time for us to check out their individual performances. And when we watch the performances, we'll come back and talk about what each and everyone feels about it. All right, mm -hmm. let's check it out. Like the shadow just by your side, I'll be there. Let's stay together. Ooh, loving you and love. Oh, glory, glory. I lay my love on you. Welcome back. We just watched some of your performances. Edina, why are you laughing? I just, I mean, I just enjoyed it. You enjoyed yeah, it? I enjoyed it, yes. All right, so we just watched Manuel Cleos and Jerry L. And they all perform different genres of um, songs. And let me go through the genres that we have already watched and witnessed. We have R&B, soul, inspirational, pop, Afropop, and high life. Yes. Yes, I'm going to start with the music director, voice coach. <laughs> You've watched these three people. What was the selection like when it comes to the title of songs that you give them to perform? Um, so in the beginning, it was more of, okay, yes, I have a pool of songs. And I think this song's best fits for your voice. Mm -hmm. 
So I give that song to you. Mm -hmm. We have a standby song, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it's been very challenging for some of them. Um, yeah. Someone like Jerry L. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the kind of songs he sings, and he's a church he's boy. He's a church boy, yes. So, and there's, nothing wrong, <laughs> there's actually nothing wrong with being a church boy. So, let's say that. You know, uh, it got to a point where he found it really challenging to actually learn the songs because mm -hmm. he's not used to the kind of genre. And you really need to sing to the genre. You mm -hmm. get it? Mm -hmm. So it, at first he was like, huh, that is very difficult. But he always pulls through. You know? Yes. He always pulls through. And I'm like, look, you have a beautiful voice. You have a very good voice. Yeah. Now show the world what you can mm -hmm. give us. You know? And I'm really happy. I'm really proud of him because every week he comes back guns blazing yeah you know so he actually won the golden mic for last last week, week. Yeah. we spent two hours on him oh for wow. highlight week yeah wow yeah so i was i was like you see your hard work paid off right but being their coach did, did you ever feel like i know they might be watching but mm. and this might be a big controversial but did you ever feel like okay jerry l can actually win this i mean the golden mic um it was between three people, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> him, A.G. Wilson, because she put in a lot of work. I think I loved her performance. And she yeah, put yeah. in a lo mm -hmm. lot of work. Um, 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 Cielo? You mean Titi? Even Titi? Yeah. You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, but it was bit, for me, to be honest, it was Cielo, Jerry L., and A.G. for me. Right. Yes. All right. And I'm sure the judges had a tough time <laughs> trying to get the golden mic to someone. Yeah. Right, right. All right, so let's hear from the judge, um, one of the judges. You represent the whole judge panel right now. So how was it like selecting the golden mic of the week last week? Last week, we were split. Right? <laughs> yeah. And I think he, he, he sees us like battling it, you know, backwards <laughs> and forwards between us. But um, yeah, it was between, AG did very well. Yes. Um, so AG could have taken it, Ciela could have taken it, um, and Jerry Manuel. And Manuel. 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 Yeah, yes. so we just watched Manuel, Manuel uh, yes. Manuel's performance. And yeah. And he I mean, was the wild card. Yes. Manuel was a wild card. And Manuel has come up, um, he, he's one of those singers for me who doesn't miss a note. Hmm. He's always on the note. Mm -hmm. He doesn't sing off. Mm -hmm. He's just incredible. Um, I don't know what he does when he's at home listening to music. Yeah. But every time I listen to him, he doesn't actually go off the note. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. amazing to watch. Right. So yes, we were split on the votes. But everybody did so well. We finally uh, decided to give it to Jerry L. Um, to honor uh, Pat Michael Thomas Bunch. as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, so there was that, but not to take away from his performance, he did very, very he well. Did very well. Um, yeah. So it was all, it was a, a huge battle, um, and Jerry L came through. So <laughs> right. I don't think any of them should actually feel bad. Yeah, They're yeah, all yeah. doing so well no, now. I, I'm really proud um, of them. It's one of the most open competitions mm -hmm. right, we've right, had. Right, um, right, right. Yes. So talking about doing so well, Echo, um, last time, off camera, we were discussing about how Cleo's has, you know, yeah. you know, yeah. become so good. Mm. I mean, he wasn't doing well. That's why he was even evicted at some mm. point. And then he came back and he gave his best performance on the day, on eviction. that day yes. of his eviction. Um, what do you think about his performances and how much he's grown? For me, also, I mean, I work closely with the music director, so I also get to see like the behind the scenes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm at the rehearsal, I'm listening to them, and then I'm seeing what is happening and all that. Um, for Cleos, he has been like such a, how do I even put it? Like, he has surprised me personally, you know, most of the times, because then I'm like, yo, like, you know, if, like, you can do it. And he's like, no, but this song, did it. And then he will come and then he has, you know, he, like, he gets it done. Mm -hmm. So like the night of his, um, the world's greatest, the rehearsal was like one of his, like, I'll say one of his toughest, because he was like actually not getting some of the notes right. He was forgetting some of his lines and everything. And then I was like, yo, you can do it. So the night that he was evicted and then he like did that performance, I was like, yo, you see, you can do it. And after he, you know, like when he returned, I feel like he has been like very, he has not seen like, yo, I've tasted it. Mm -hmm. So I know what is happening mm -hmm. here. And then I wouldn't say it was also because of his like poor performances, that's why he was evicted. Mm -hmm. It was also because people were not voting. Yeah. Right. And, you know, that's what we encourage people yeah. to do. Because somebody can be doing so well, right. but then the person will be evicted. 
Case in point is Reguelo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, the night he was a victor, I think the previous week he had won the golden mic, yes. Yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so it shows that, I mean, the person can be so good, but if you are not voting, the person can be a victim. And I'm so grateful that we've had to, like, you know, switch it all up and then revert to the whole league table right, to be able right. to give everybody a chance. Because okay. sometimes the genres also do not maybe favor someone. So, now that we are at high life, see the way Manuel is, like, giving it all out. <laughs> right. you know? So it's also, but for Cleos, I mean, he's doing such a good job, and I'll encourage him to keep on doing that. Oh, so just, I mean, just, I'm glad you said that about, it wasn't a poor performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was, people didn't vote. People didn't vote. Yeah, all right. because I think Cleos is good. I mean, he's very, he just brings such joy to the stage. You he, has know, a, like he, has a, he has a good smile. Yeah. Infectious smile. Yes. Yes. He has a <laughs> you know, sometimes at the rehearsal, he has done something, and then you can always like, go out there, he's just like. He's just smiling. He's just there smiling. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he has nothing to do but to be like, behave yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. So now that we've heard it, that the um, the votes are actually very important to help these contestants. Remember that you can vote for your favorite contestant by dialing star 920 star 973 hash. And then follow the instructions. Or if you are not going to be using your phone or you don't have a Momo, all you need to do is head to our website, CityTV online forward slash voice factory and then follow the instructions. Right, so it's time for us to check out more performances from NS CLOB and AG Wilson. We'll be back. Whoa, three, a girl is playing to that you're the only one for me And darling, darling, stand right here No, 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 stand by me, yeah I stop looking at you back then When I let go and I let God I let God have this way I'm gonna be the one who you believe in your heart Sent from, sent from heaven But that's a peace and be who leaves when you're gone We gotta set from Sunshine when it's gone And this house just ain't no home Anytime he goes away It's all smiles right here in the studio, especially with AG's last performance. <laughs> ah, let's Yo. talk about that performance. AG's last oh, performance. Man. I like I don't even understand Tree, but I felt like 
it was a mouthful of words yeah. and she still got him right yeah um <laughs> so awesome brought here i mean if you if you've been to any live bar session or anything or yeah, someone who loves lives but that song the lyrics are so like you run on the words like mm -hmm. it's there's no break like so you're going pop, 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 pop. and it's a story that you are telling right. so if you forget a line you've messed up the entire story <laughs> So for her to be able to keep consistency and remember literally every line to make the story make sense, I felt like she was, she did so well. I really love like, her energy she, she on that so day. Well. Oh, I mean, AJ, yes. Uh, very wordy, and she got it. <laughs> and she just went for it. And she was not trying to remember the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was just enjoying the performance and, and literally just took us along with her. You know? but wait, I want to ask you, how do you know someone is trying to remember the lyrics they won't enjoy their yeah. performance you oh. can see that they're not enjoying tell. it you'll mm. be able to they'll be they'll be doing stuff to try to just remember i mean, I mean it happens to everybody right, right, yeah and she right. wasn't trying to you know, she wasn't trying to remember right, just, right, yeah right. so what do you yeah. think about about that performance uh, for me uh, i or oh, ag yeah ag yeah. no see I, i'm in the rehearsal with them i see the learning process i see everything and this girl put in a lot of work that song is like eight minutes. Yeah. The entire originality of the song is eight minutes. We had to cut some stuff out, place this. So imagine you have to take this out, take this out, and lend a new arrangement. That's a lot of hard work. And she remembered every single line from rehearsal to performance. Right, right. I told her, look, you've, 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 you've surprised me. You've done the best. I, I, I was so happy for her. I was happy for her. Mm -hmm. I thought she would have won. The, I thought. I, yeah. That was yeah, her. Yeah. So we were split that week as well. It's been difficult. The past couple of weeks have been <laughs> difficult. And I think something's happened in rehearsals. Yeah. Right. And they've just gone up. Yeah. And, you know, we can't decide. We should take sure, a golden mic. Sure. Maybe we need two or three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Cielo B. Mm. Cielo B, she has actually won the golden mic twice. Twice. Yeah. Back to back. Back to back. Yeah. You, you work with her. So what's the secret with her? What is it with her that makes her always, you know. She's a perfect perfectionist oh yeah mm. that's the word um, and she she knows when I want something like I'm like you need to do it this way and she goes back and she works on it like even high life week mm -hmm. you know she had to go to Teshi to go and learn proper ga in order to get the performance right mm -hmm. so you can tell she puts in a lot of work yeah. like she's always texting so how do I do this how do I do that she comes to rehearsal if the little thing doesn't go right then she's like uh, that's her mm -hmm. so she is always like on point right you know right. yeah so for her she puts in a lot of work and you can tell when she comes on stage right you know I don't know honest. Ernest. Ernest is the man with the runs. <laughs> <laughs> the man with the runs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> but I love Ernest runs. And I think what Voice Factory has done for him that I've observed so far is we kind of went a little bit hard on him on the runs. Yeah. And he's pulled back on the runs. And, and I think he's learning to use them in the right the places. Right kind of yeah. tease the people a little bit. Leave us wanting I got more. it. But, I won't yeah, give you but all. I'm not giving you yeah. all of it. And it's making Ernest's performances really good. He's, he's a crooner, yeah. uh, so he just needs to, you know, I put his back into his performances a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to make Uncle Freddy happy. <laughs> <laughs> true, 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 true. All right, so we have more performances. Let's check out performances from Bella, Titi, and Seyram. I put your picture on my mirror, start to flash when somebody says your name. You must still my discipline, see you walk in my direction. I go the other way. So Again, then we're on and 
Bella, Titi, and Seiram. Yeah. I'm going to start with, let's start with Seiram, since she's making us all happy. Seiram, <laughs> Seiram. Oh, man. Big voice. Um, one, one thing we are trying to get her to, you know, unlearn is not letting her voice control her. Mm. She so, needs to control her voice. So what do you mean that your voice controls you? When you say your voice controls you, what do you mean by that? So basically, it's technique. Mm -hmm. um, dynamics, mm -hmm. when loud or soft, when you should go loud, when you should go soft, and very particular by the notes you sing. Mm -hmm. You should get them right, because when you get excited on stage or are doing so much on stage, right, you tend to go off pitch, mm -hmm. you know, and she has a big voice, like Seram has a big voice, so she needs to be careful with these things, mm -hmm. and she's realized it now, you know, so now she's very careful about learning the songs, learn it proper, yeah. so you can make it your own now, yeah. you know, and I realize she also likes improvisation a lot, and I'm like, you have to be intentional about it, mm -hmm. so when you get on stage, you don't have to overthink. Right. Yes. I think Sadie Mam also has like a, 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 a big voice. Yes. I've heard and, you singing. And, and so I can, I can relate. So the thing with uh, Serum is, or what I, what I try to do is, um, think about the note before you don't just arrive at the note yeah. exactly. so she tends to like lose it and then it just goes wild and then it's kind of like out of control but mm -hmm. she has such a powerful, powerful voice. Mm -hmm. she's a yeah. powerhouse right. so it's just to like so she's got what people want mm -hmm. so yeah. she just has it's too much of it and then she needs to yeah so she needs to yeah she has too much keep of what some, people keep like, some, yeah keeps keep on so she's like your your live performer you know she's yes. got that voice mm -hmm. to be on stage just yeah. like you Okay. <laughs> just like you. Too much like, for sport. You got like, like you got a big voice. Sometimes yeah. it's just too big. So, yeah. But okay, you know how so, to manage it, so I guess you should so learn. Just she, she can relate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 She really understands. So it's it's unlearning that like you you can't blast everywhere. Then it's difficult. I mean it, it's it. Well, it just takes time. Mic yeah. control. And Mic all. control yeah. and then just, you know, breath control. Just all yeah. control. Because <laughs> the power is there. All know, control. So all control, yeah. Another big voice. Yeah. Bella. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. She has won um, the golden mic. I think yeah. twice? No, once. 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 Yeah. Once. yeah. It's Rigwello uh, and Cielo. Cielo yeah. twice, yeah. Um, Another like really really good voice right from the audition you knew mm -hmm. that this girl was like she was really good at what she does and for me his uh, she has this vibrato that she uses really well 
and they are just like, yo, okay, what's going on here? I mean, I, I'm not so technical, so I don't know if she over, if she does it or she <laughs> does it less or anything, but it's something that I enjoy from her. And she's also very energetic on stage. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that works really well for her. Right. And she, she, she should continue mm -hmm. doing it. Like she, she has, has energy. Yeah. Like, she has a yeah. She's very energetic on stage. You know, she's like she's into what she's doing. I don't know if she also doesn't forget her lyrics. She, I think she's learned a lot because the first time I heard her, mm. I realized she had some really mm -hmm. bad habits, and I actually yeah. told her. Oh, okay. I said, you have yeah. some bad habits, drop them and you will be sensational. Wow. And she has okay. actually. She's unlearned. And I, I mean, Nikwe is there like mm -hmm. pulling back on some of the things. It's like less is more. Mm -hmm. So she has too much of certain things which you just do because you're singing in front of a certain group of people. Nobody's judging you, you're yeah. just singing. Yeah. But the voice needs to, I mean, she needs to like Shum, apply Shum. that Shabo, you know, <laughs> Galamse, Galamse, you know, like, you know, Galamse singing. But, you know, like, she has that voice that can captivate an audience, yeah, and she yeah. just needed a little bit of help to put it together and right. present it, you right. know, on a world stage, if mm -hmm. you like. Sure. And, and she's doing that beautifully. Yeah. Okay, so Titi. Yo. Oh, Titi. Titi. I love Titi. Shine bright, Shine bright like a dynamite. Oh my god. <laughs> She's the dynamite. Yeah. You know, Titi was also like a, a last minute addition, addition. to the team. Yeah. Right. So we just listened and I was like, she has this pop sound. And Nikki was like, yeah. I said, she has a pop sound. And we just agreed. We're like, no, we need. And she's like effortlessly beautiful and graceful and we thought yeah. we need to hear what this girl is gonna she be has. Girl can, yeah. what she yeah. has you know and, yeah. and are we i mean are you remember we you remember the auditions day one right yeah when we had to group her princess and a couple of other two and the there was this two, guy who also was in he there and he, he dropped out yeah. it was like i, I won't do this <laughs> and yeah. that was one of the things that we found endearing about princess Princess just took charge of the team, right. organized them, put everybody into parts. I think, yeah, I think I watched that and she yeah. has that. Yeah. And you know, the one thing to add to it is when you see like the hard work, Titi no, to me is a definition of hard yeah. work mm. because yeah. to hear the auditions come from Tamale, you know, like I want to be part of this yeah. and to be able to make it to this point. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm hard really, work I'm really place. proud of Titi. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm okay. really proud of her. So we have two more contestants that we need to watch their performances and they are Riguelo and Princess. Let's check them out. You got it, you got it, babe. When you miss a day, we don't defend your whole life so trash. Rising up to the challenge of our rival And the last known survivor stops to spend the night And is watching us all with the eye I'll catch a grenade for you Show my hands and the blade for you I jump in front of a train for you Once I'm in coming for my hoodie dancer Performances by Princess and Riguelo. Yeah. Riguelo. Riguelo. 
and, and then, I think he's the he's the second crooner. I see him like a junior yeah. Michael Jackson, junior yeah. Usher. Yeah, you know, always you know. dancing. Mm -hmm. It's important he's for him performer. to dance. He's a performer. Yeah, he's a performer, and I I I, I think he he brings a different kind of vibe to the show. You know, because he's always like moving. Right. He's always dancing. Yes, always. You know, like he's even when it's not going well, he's like dancing, moving, mm -hmm. dancing, and um, I, he's good. The auditions. He came with a guitar, mm -hmm. and the song he even sang. I hadn't heard anybody sing that song that way. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, this boy has got something. Yeah, something. yeah. you know. I so know. yeah. What do you I, think? Reguelo has got something special, and he needs to believe it. I, I'm not sure. We need to work on the believability. He needs to believe it. He should not worry too much about the votes and nobody's voting. Mm. Having come this far, um, if he's listening, I'm sure he's going to be watching this. <laughs> Reguela, you've got something special. Keep it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And work. Right. It should work. Yeah, yeah just keep working. Yeah, work just more. keep working. And for, he's also one of the people who works really hard. Um, he, he also has like good ears to listen. Mm -hmm. And he's always looking forward to like hearing what the judges have to say or what the music director right. has to say. So I feel like he has more to offer. So okay, so what about Princess? Princess is a hmm. princess. She's, She's a princess. graceful on stage. Just one little Miss Regal, and from from day one, I was just um, I love Princess for just taking charge, and I can tell she works really hard. I mean, I've not been in their rehearsals. But when she comes on stage, you can tell yeah. the story. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Well, and she's oh. the youngest in the contest. That's yeah. nice. And like, very impressive, by the way. Yeah, very, very yeah. impressive. Anyway, guys, um, thank you very much. Um, it's time for us to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll be talking about the league table and how it is important for you to vote for your favorite contestants. We'll be back. <laughs> Yellow B. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the Voice Factory Preview Show. And right now it's time for us to talk about the league table and how people have been voting and, and how also the vote helps, you know, each contestant. Echo, can you tell us more about the league table? Yeah, so the league table is um, it's new, it's brand new, never tried before in any music contest. We are doing it for the first time. So it's a way to now say, Let's take all 10 through every genre, because then you get to know who actually is, like the entirety of what mm -hmm. music is, mm -hmm. because then they are good everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we, we weight the judges' score, and then the voting, what comes in, we put it together, and then it gives you um, the rating on the bar charts right, that we have. Right. So every week after the performance, the following week, we show you what the votes and the judges' score has been. Right. Now, the catch here is 
audience shouldn't think that, oh, this is, no, no, no. You have the greatest, like, the most power to decide where yeah. your favorite contestant is going to be on the bar chart. So I think they'll show us some of, like, the weekly ones. But you realize that the judges have some percentage. Yes. And then the audience have, like, the greater percentage, the greater percentage. when it comes to this. So we put it together and then we weight it. So where you find yourself shows where your contestant is. Now, this is what is going to happen. As the com competition progresses, we are accumulating everything. So it's not like we are done this week and we know, but we are accumulating everything and it's going to show where you are going to be at the end of it all. So please, everybody should make sure they vote for their favorite contestant. Right, right. Now, why am I, am I saying? I'm saying this because you realize that the week we really won the contestant or the golden mic performance, yeah. that was rather the week that he was last in the league table. Mm -hmm. That was the Afro pop and hip life. Mm -hmm. So it shows that he has the contestant must be might be very good, but okay. you know, he's not also being voted for. So we right. have to so, really, really vote yeah. for that. So that was on week five. Yeah, week five. So Afro pop and hip life. True. And Miguelo was all the way down yeah, there. Down. He had like 103 points. 103 points. points and and it's, yeah. And you know, yet he still won the golden, golden mic. mic. Right. Yeah. So it means that on the judges' sheet, he did very well, mm -hmm. but you know, the judges' score is lesser than the or the waiting is less than the yeah. public so the public has to vote very very well for all you know maybe tt even had the the less when it came to like the judges score right. but then when it right. came to voting a lot of mm. people voted for her so people should also take note of that and make sure like you know you're voting for them to for them to get the most points so tt won followed by clob right. for afro pop and hip life princess seram jl manuel and then now the final five that's ag wilson ns bella Cleos and Reguelo. Right. So when you are hitting that side, you should know that, hey, your chances are to know. Mm -hmm. Hitting mm -hmm. the 20K is being slim. So you have to really, <laughs> really work at it because right. you so, have to vote. Edin, how is it putting together the points for these contestants when you watch them perform? How tedious is it? How nerve-wracking is it? It's tedious, but I think because we've done it over a few weeks now, you when they start, you kind of know it's it's broken down. So we have uh, a percentage for choice of song, uh, vocal quality. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, uh, you know something on the genre, and uh, so we have different. Uh, Interpretations, interpretations of, of you know, know of what to look out so for. it actually we actually break it down uh for for them so it's it's okay i mean you you can tell when somebody comes in um, are they appropriately appropriately dressed okay uh, even the, even their look appearance yeah. so we score on appearance even their we look score matters. on lyrics mm -hmm. uh, mastery of lyrics uh, clarity. voice clarity and all that so we we score them on so many different points so wow. tell them that yeah. well, i cannot hear like, your diction yeah. yes. yes so you can't hear so i can't give you so you know on 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 saturday uh, uncle freddie ma he mm -hmm. was uh, I think it was Bella. Yeah. He said to Bella, look, I can't score you on uh, stagecraft wow. yeah. on my sheet because mm. I think you didn't, you know, like, well, okay, wow. so that's also his interpretation, interpretation of what she yeah. did, mm -hmm. you know, so. Right, right. Wow. Yeah. I, uh, I disagreed with, with the comment he, he actually gave. Uh, with regards I, I to, thought, I thought Bella's performance was yeah, great. but that's what I'm saying. It's different. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. we would definitely yeah. have some of them. She, yeah, <laughs> she did an acousia Japan, so yeah. I think he was expected to, him do, to do. But the song Akusia didn't. Japan. The song was a sad song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are owing. You are yeah. in debt. Exactly. Why would I come in? <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm debt. Okay. You're happy. You're happily in debt. <laughs> happily in debt. Yeah. No, no, that's not. <laughs> well, but, okay. So we have seen the leak table, and you've explained the leak table. Yeah. So it's actually very important for you the viewer to vote for your favorite contestant especially if you're following the competition and you're watching every saturday you know that okay this person really performed well this person deserved my points because if you do not do that maybe somebody that they didn't perform mm, or you know that is below the person that you're really supporting will you know be over the person when it comes to points so it's important that you vote for your favorite contestant to you know remain in the competition and to push the person forward what genre are we to look out for tomorrow <laughs> Going to church. We're going We're to, going to church. church. We're going to church. We're going to church. We're going to church. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking you to church. Yes. We're taking us to church. Yes. So what, what should we look out for? Well, um, the selection of songs 
cut across, mm -hmm. you know, from the Western world all the way to, to Africa, you know. Um, yeah. We have a lot of black American songs in there, gospel songs mm -hmm. in there. We have songs coming from Ghana, Ghana. Mm -hmm. you know, from Dinah mm -hmm. Melton, from Joe Metal, Joe Metal, you know. A couple of songs, even Soul Winners. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, so right. you should expect a lot. I know, right? Okay. Is it going to, is it going to be spirit-filled in there? Too? Oh, yes, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we can't wait to actually um, watch tomorrow. Let's check out the cumulative um, table of, you know, of how people voted. Mm. That would be interesting. Yeah. All right, so while we wait for the, for, for, for the cumulative um, table to pop up, now, throughout the week, how do you think everyone did? And especially if we had to look at their votes that they got throughout the weeks. Hey, you're pushing me to give us so much. Yeah, you, I'm not you, going to give us well, so much. Well, don't, so people don't are, give out so much, yeah, but give us what we need to know. Yeah, I mean, you'll be, you'll be surprised at who like, is leading the league table this weekend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the person has never looked led before so you'd be really yeah you'd be you'd be surprised that oh, means that a lot of people are voting uh -huh. and the people who are trailing have now like also like mm -hmm. overtaking those who mm -hmm. were mm -hmm. there before so it's it shows that you know like people are actually voting and mm -hmm. people are following right. so also make sure you vote for your favorite because if you don't vote for your favorite he will be performing so well but will not yeah. be able to mm -hmm. yeah. you know be at the and you know sometimes we are there this side of the lead table is very refreshing, but if you come to this side, then yeah, it yeah. gets a bit sad. And there's something so. I realized two weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, the week that you know Bella was lagging behind. Mm. The next week, she was up there. She was up. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, that's the power of votes. Yeah. And yeah. So I think it's a reminder. Yeah. Like, people see it and they're like, oh, Bella is. You know, mm -hmm. like, we have to mm -hmm. vote. Vote, vote. Yeah. Serum has won before she has led the league. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then she has, at some point, and she just came down. She was down. Yeah. yeah. Titi yeah. was down there, and she's, 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 she's the one leading. Yeah. So that's the dynamics of it. And then you realize that everyone and like the journalists, they are performing very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you realize that it's all expected. of them, like the previous journalists, they are True. so well. Mm -hmm. And now, so. It shows and it tells. So, but, but how important is the cumulative um, table for the competition and especially for the contestants to know? Yeah, it shows like your progress for the, for the, like, for the weeks. So you get to see like week four, like week mm -hmm. one, week mm -hmm. two, week mm -hmm. three, everything. So we are able to see like where you've come from. And then you are even able to judge like, oh, okay, so I had a list here and I progressed to this point. Right. So if you're progressing, right. you know, if you're dropping, you mm -hmm. know, if your people mm -hmm. are not voting, mm -hmm. you get to know mm -hmm. and everything. And if you're into data science, you can be able to use it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically that also shows how people are voting for you every yeah. week. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And your judges score as well. Yeah. So it mm. tells you like, okay, the judges are scoring. But at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day or at the end of the com uh, competition, are they all going to be added together? Um, I mean, this also like something that we have mm -hmm. to decide. We mm -hmm. are deciding conclave, so I mean, we'll come out. We, mm -hmm. we can't give all our secrets yet. I know, you know? I yeah. know. <laughs> but Edina, before I let you go, who do you think has done really well when it comes to you know gathering votes? It's hard to tell. I mean, I feel like people haven't really voted for. So I look at Reguelo, for example, and I'm thinking. Vote, just vote for Reguelo, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get up and vote. Don't just mm -hmm. like him, just vote. Um, but I, I'm not sure if it's a, a, a thing this side of uh, the world right. where uh, people, people who vote for you are your friends and family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I find that it's normally not the public, the general, you know, general Joe blogs just watching mm -hmm. you and then picks up, yeah. you know, the phone to vote. Right. So I think people should do that. If you're watching and you're following and you're, you're enjoying it, mm -hmm. please vote. Every vote counts. Right. Mm -hmm. Very so, important. Yeah, you have been working with them and you know how they feel most of the time. Sometimes I feel like you're the, the therapist. Yo, yeah. how has it been for them? You know, trying to let their friends vote for them and the um, I see, for them. I see some of them. I see some. Sometimes I see them go to people that they do not know Ooh. and all that. You know, that's the kind of work they are putting in when it comes to voting. So, I, I, I can tell. Some I always check their WhatsApp statuses like every time, okay. and they are like doing stuff. Some people even like, have a whole YouTube page. You know, this week, this is what I did. This is the code. Like, it's wow. it's that crazy. So, guys, wow. please vote. Yeah. Wow. Please vote for them. Please that vote for them. Like, yeah, vote, because vote, vote. yeah, we're going to add everything up. So, please yeah. vote yeah. for them. Okay. Sure. All right. So, I think we've um, talked about everything that we need to talk about today, and we will talk about more next week. But it's let me remind everyone that tomorrow 
at 6.30. It's going to be exciting. They're taking us to church. The contestants are taking us to church because yes. <laughs> it's going to be all about the gospel genre. So if you love gospel, if you know anyone that loves gospel, remember to make it a date with us right here on City TV at 6.30 tomorrow. It's a rendezvous <laughs> with, with Voice Factory and you. So um, 6.30 p.m. And also remember to vote for your favorite um, contestants um, to help them in the competition because you've seen the league table and I'm sure you realize that mm, my fave might not be doing well or my fave might be lagging next week or I need to help this person. All you need to do is pick up your phone and dial star 920 star 973 hash and then you choose your favorite contestants and vote for the person as many as 999 times all right and also if you cannot vote with your phone or maybe you don't more more or you have a debit card all you need to do is uh, vote via the website citytvonline.com forward slash voice factory and then you can vote for your favorite contestants guys Thank you so much. You're we had fun, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. We had yes. fun, yes. right? Yes. And we are going to be having more of this fun as the competition goes on. So remember to make it, um, make it a date with us next week, right here, same time. And my name is Chris Carter, and this has been The Voice Factory Preview Show. See you next week.